Welcome back guys. Today's video is a closet tour. Let's get started. My closet is quite large and enclosed by sliding mirror doors. This is one thing I would change about my closet if I could, because I'm never able to view the whole thing at one time. But the mirrors are nice because they reflect a lot of natural light back into the bedroom. Let's start with the left side of the closet, which is the boring side, and then we'll get into the fun stuff. On the left, I keep my work clothing, also known as scrubs, which are one color. I like to wear only white scrubs because of two reasons. Number one, I really like white and the way it looks on me. And number two, it makes it really easy to get dressed in the morning when you only have one color to pick from. I never have to decide what color or pattern to wear because there is only one. And I like having a work uniform. It helps me feel prepared and organized for my day ahead. And since I'm a nurse, being prepared and organized is key. I also keep a couple of neutral cardigans to wear over top of my scrubs on colder days and when I work night shifts. Hospitals tend to get cold at night. To the right of my scrubs are my gym clothes. I have four pairs of black leggings, three of which are from Lululemon and the other is from Winners. Normally I don't have this many pairs, but I recently bought two new ones because the other two are becoming very worn and stretched and will soon need to be recycled or turned into something new. I typically wear the same gym top every day, which is this mint green long sleeve one which I've had forever, but I like to switch it up sometimes so I do keep a couple of crop tops in addition. Now getting to the right side of my closet, which is what I consider the fun side. This is where I keep all of my casual daytime and dress clothes. Luckily, I've learned how to declutter and keep my wardrobe simple so I don't have any bins or drawers bursting with clothing. I keep it organized from shortest to longest. You'll notice that all the clothes in my wardrobe tend to keep with the same color palette. Neutrals like gray, white, beige, light pink, baby blue, and black. But if there's one color I wear outside of the neutral palette, it's red. Red is one of my favorite colors and I have a couple of dresses in red as well as two sweaters. I only have nine pairs of pants in total. A few are dressy office pairs, two are go with everything pairs of black jeggings, and I have two pairs of jeans. I'm not much of a jean person, so when I do wear them, they have to be high-waisted and dark wash or black. Everyone has their style, and for me, when I wear light color jeans, I just don't like the way that I feel. I only wear specific necklines because over the years I've come to figure out what cuts of fabric work best for my body type. Knowing what style of shirt flatters my body is such a game changer because it makes shopping so much easier and saves so much time and money when I do need to go shopping. You'll notice another trend in my wardrobe, and that trend is pleated and peplum style tops. I love pleated clothes. I don't know where this obsession came from, but if they see something with pleats, I'm almost 100% guaranteed to at least try it on, if not buy it. I also really like a top that flows away from my waist. I think they're really cute and they flatter my physique. One of my tips is that if you find a shirt you love, you should get two of them or get it in two colors. This is because you'll end up wearing it over and over and eventually you'll wish you had another one when it gets worn down. I've learned the lesson the hard way with a couple of my sweaters. They've been my favorites for a few years and unfortunately they're very worn out, but I haven't found perfect replicas to replace them with yet. Something I have a lot of in my wardrobe are dresses. I live in Canada and you probably know we have more cold months here than we do warm months, so I rarely get the opportunity to wear them. But I love wearing dresses, so I do keep a few of them on hand that make me feel amazing when I wear them. When I go on vacation or go out to dinner with my partner, I do get a lot of use out of them. Something I decided a little while ago is that life is too short not to wear things that make you feel amazing. It's important to enjoy your femininity and wear things that make you feel good about yourself. These might be the best years of your life, and you'll never get this time back again. Mm -hmm. 
This particular jacket is an example of one of those things I splurged on. It costs quite a bit, but I love it and it's amazing quality and I feel great when I wear it. Some of my favorite places to get clothing from are Ted Baker London, The Bay, and Nordstrom Rack. If you haven't shopped on Nordstrom Rack, I would definitely recommend checking it out because you can get some of the higher end names and really good quality clothes for a steal of a deal. They also have excellent customer service and they do ship internationally. One of my favorite fabrics is tweed. Tweed always looks expensive and makes you feel like a million bucks when you wear it. I only keep shoes out on display that I think are pretty and nice to look at on a daily basis. The other ones I keep in two bins beside the shelf. My shoe style is similar to my clothing style. Nothing too casual unless I'm going to the gym or to work. And as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit of use out of this pair of Michael Kors ballet flats. I keep my shoe color neutral so they can be mixed and matched with multiple outfits. My favorite shoe color is nude because they're always flattering and go with absolutely everything. They also elongate your leg and make you look taller than you are. Switching from a flat to a heel can totally transform the look of any outfit and make you feel like a million bucks. Except for in the winter time, I pretty much live in ballet flats, loafers, t-strap sandals and high heels. Although I consider myself a minimalist, I consider handbags to be not only a statement piece, but also a part of the woman's outfit. So I do like to match my bag to the season and to the occasion. I try to be minimal here though, by only having one of each type of occasion bag and shoe. The ones I'm showing you now are a few of my favorites. Being a minimalist doesn't mean that you have to have a total of 20 to 30 things in your wardrobe. It means you have the right stuff in your wardrobe. That stuff is right for you and brings you happiness. And it means you let go of all the other stuff that weighs you down and does not bring you happiness. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If there's anything else you'd like to see more in depth, please let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.